Hey guys, Jeff Dobson here, and uh, cold winter day, getting everything ready to head down to Florida for the second FLW Pro Circuit event. Got off to a really good start this year, and I'm excited to get on the road. Uh, been doing a little bit of tweaking on the boat, so I wanted to bring it out to a little local lake and make sure everything's good before I haul it south to Florida. So something we're going to be doing today is we're going to do a walkthrough video. Uh, both my truck and my boat. Um, what's really cool is every single accessory that I have on both my truck and boat is available through crossedindustries.com. Really great people, fishermen, good people to work with, prices are right. Um, it's a really neat company that I get to, to work with this year. I worked with them last year on some truck accessories and this year they picked up boating accessories and we're going to start working with them on that too. Um, going to do a walkthrough video and just kind of show you guys everything available on my boat and truck is available through Cross Industries. So let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start at the front of the truck and starting out, we got Iron Cross bumpers. They're built in good old Tulsa, Oklahoma. I drive by them every day, 100% uh, American made, American steel, great company, great product. Um, Iron Cross lights, got an Iron Cross light bar, and then we got the cubes here built into that. To the uh, bumper as well. Murray Mato headlights, I think I said that right. We've got a really cool carbon fiber wrap this year. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a couple years and I keep getting talked out of it and I finally found the right people to do it for me. So super, super happy about it, really excited about it. Guys, fuel wheels and tires you can order fuel wheels and tires as a combination through crossed industries as a package deal they come to your doorstep mounted balanced ready to put on your vehicle and they have super great prices super great prices next really cool thing i've been talking about these for a couple years now uh, it's a super great product that i'm really excited to uh, be working with another year rock tamers guys those save beating up my trailer um, you know I, I run some pretty aggressive tires they look pretty cool but the downside of that is they pick up rocks they throw them underneath the hull of the boat and uh chip up the paint on the trailer so rock tamers really uh attractive product really built well um what's cool about them is they're attached to my bmw hitch and all i have to do is take a pin out and remove the whole system it's a uh, really cool kind of dirty um, I didn't have them attached to my truck last time I went and cleaned up the truck so you guys check them out rock tamers they're available at cross industries as well full tilt wraps is who did my wraps this year guys I mean they did a superb job Running Fox dual res shocks. Just a ready lift, two and a half inch level kit. I didn't go with a 
a full lift kit this year. Um, two reasons. My wife doesn't like a truck that tall. And really, to be honest with you, I kind of don't like driving all over the country in a big, tall truck. I like a truck that sets up because I like to be able to see in front of the vehicles in front of me. But it gets kind of old when you're when you're traveling all the way down to Florida running 26 hours uh, on a big old lifted truck. They don't drive quite as well. So the other thing that's valuable across the industry is wheels and tires for your your uh, your boat. Um, they have different packages available. You can custom order them for size and tires. Um, these are actually uh, come from Phoenix. I ordered them from Phoenix like that, but uh, that exact wheel and tire and, and all the fuel uh, wheels and tires are available at, at Crossed Industries. So move on back to here. Um, guys, we got the DD26 motor toter and steering. Go ahead and take those off because we are going to put the boat in the truck. That keeps your motor from going back and forth. And you got the really cool motor toter. These are the best built motor toters on the market. Real easy to go on, real easy to come off. Heavy aluminum, built for stout. I actually ran this all last year and it's just like new. Really good product. <clears throat> All right, let's step up in here where the business happens. It's my Lowrance products. So, I've ran Lowrance for over 20 years. My first boat was a 99 TR-21 and it had a global map 2000 on it and uh, i've ran lawrence products ever since then um, i've got some good people some good friends that work down at lawrence and i'm just kind of brand loyal when it comes to them uh, really great products in my opinion they have the best side imaging sonar and mapping uh, but my opinion is a little uh, vague because I don't use the other products I I just uh, I don't need to these do everything that I need them to do um, I run bass boat technology dual mount and a lot of people ask me why because this Phoenix 921 elite comes with a, a um, shroud console here where you can run duels side by side mounted and the, and the problem with that is is when you're in really rough water and you're needing to reach up there and zoom in and those things are vibrating and shaking uh, I like them to be firm and look at this guys these things are rock solid they don't move at all this mount that's a 3 16 aluminum just built really well very attractive I put security screws in mine so they can't be removed very easy. Let's move up here to the front of the boat. We're running ghost trolling motor this year. Um, I've been fortunate to be able to do some testing on this motor before it was available to the public. And uh, man, I really put it through the test. I put it in some heavy, thick vegetation. It did just fine. What I'm really impressed with on this ghost trolling motor is the spot lock capabilities. It doesn't move at all. Um, the head doesn't constantly turn trying to hunt for its location. It just sits there, runs a little bit here, runs a little bit there and keeps you in place. Last tournament down at Rayburn, I fished the dam with a straight wind going into the dam. It was like a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind and they were huge waves and I was completely impressed at how well that spot lock uh, kept me in motion. I'm running the, it's booting up right now, but uh, the ghost trolling motor, um, it does connect to your units and there's some pretty cool stuff that I'm testing um, on how to control the boat. Uh, 
you can program it to go to a waypoint and then circle around it and do some stuff like that. Um, I haven't got real heavy into that testing yet, but I'm working on it. Um, I've been busy with tournaments and stuff like that, and it's kind of hard to do that product testing during practice or in during tournaments. And then the weather in between tournaments so far has been pretty bad in Oklahoma, so I haven't been able to get out. But uh, I'm running that uh, live site transducer. And I run this HDS-9 here for my live site and HDS-12 for mapping, mapping and traditional sonar. I'm a traditional sonar, two-dimensional um, sonar guy. I, I just really like it. I'm confident with it. I'm running the BBT, the Bass Boat Technology mount up there with the Phoenix uh, fiberglass dual. Um, what's really cool about this foot pedal, you got your spot lock capabilities and then you can program these three over here to do different stuff. Um, I've got this one programmed for waypoints, um, which works out really well. So I don't have to reach down here and hit that button up there. I just hit that button right there and, and store my waypoint. So guys, that's kind of a real quick walkthrough of uh, the 2019 f-250 with a 6.7 liter diesel uh 2020 921 phoenix uh, it's a 921 elite it's a new model for this year um, what's really cool about it this year they went to the raised uh deck the the gunnels aren't so so tall on this and i'm a fan of that because i do a lot of uh a lot of flipping and stuff like that and i just kind of like that to be raised up quite a bit but what i absolutely fell in love with is that right there everything i need bait wise is right here my rods are over here i do store my swim bait stuff over here it's all my uh swim bait heads and swim baits but all my rods and reels are over here. I got my spinning tackle over here, but all my baits, every bit of it, is up here nicely organized. And, you know, something that's pretty cool, um, something we introduced a couple of years ago um, is the Battle Box by Calco's Fishing. And, uh, What's neat about this battle box is you've got these pill bottles here and they're, they're quick pop top pill bottles. These uh, deals in here, they keep uh, your weights and stuff from rattling around in there when you push them down. But after I got this 921 Elite, I found, I found something really cool. You know, I took those and I built them into here. And uh, you talk about quick access. I mean, I've got all my hooks right here, all my drop shot stuff over here, my sea rig stuff, and it's real quick access. I don't have to worry about opening up that box and getting into it. I keep my back stock in here and then my quick access stuff in, in, in those. So it works out really cool, guys. It's really neat. So, um, I'm going to put the boat in and we're going to go test it and we'll take you guys for a ride.
Cross Industries, your boat and truck accessory superstore.